Good evening, Bellwood Quizzes. Hello, Alan. Dimmy, 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 a man after midnight. Fabulous, love it. Good evening, Barbara. Good evening, Julie. Hope you're all right, love. You got a brandy there. Zoe, good evening. Hello. What are you drinking? Posh Zoe Prosecco. Well done. Do you think you'll make it to the fifth quiz tonight? <laughs> Good evening, Pom. Hope everything is okay in Pom Towers. Let's smash this quiz tonight. It's easy, dead easy. crisps good evening kev manic day do you sell that digger Well done, sir. Well done. We've only got two minutes to go before we start. Oh, my God. What are we going to be doing tonight? Well, I can give you a little sneaky peek. We've got three questions, uh, three quizzes, a few questions, a few answers. We'll be fine. Hope everything's right. Good evening, Avril. The boss and the assistant here. <laughs> well done. side at pond we're nearly ready to go
Evening Bar Elmado. Let's go, big boy. Let's get this two minute countdown started. Good evening, Shelley. Are we ready? Nearly there. <gasps> Exciting. Good evening, Bellwood Quizzes. Here we are again. I thought, you know what to do? I go to Manhattan. So I hope everybody is fine. Can you believe we are now week 22? Just had to check there, I forgot. At week 22 of the Bellwood Quiz. I hope you've all had a lovely week, because I have, because the kids are back at school. Yes, amazing. Anyway, uh, this week, five quizzes for you. Three general knowledge, because I know you love those quizzes. We also have two special uh, rounds. One is called Up Your Flagpole, uh, and the other one is Bring Your A-Game. Oh, I wonder what that can be. I don't know. So, I think we should make a start with quiz number one, general knowledge, 15 questions. <coughs> Amazing. Let's go, quiz number one. Come on. So, here we go. Which country is Brie Cheese originally from? So, which country is Brie Cheese originally from? Oh, good evening, Sophie, by the way. Didn't see that pop up there. So that's question one. Where is Brie cheese from? Number two, what's the capital of Iceland? Not the shop, Bar El Mardo. Mm -hmm. Question three, who painted the Mona Lisa? So who painted the Mona Lisa? Good evening, Guy. Hope you're okay. Dead easy questions, these aren't they? So tell me who painted the Mona Lisa? Question number four, who plays Del Boy Trotters in Only Fools and Horses? What's the actor's name? Question four. this one so which fashion designer reportedly had a relationship with Winston Churchill dirty thing so which fashion designer reportedly had a relationship with Winston Churchill what was the fashion designers name and in Harry Potter what was the name of the Weasley's house that's a bad picture isn't it that uh, what's the name of the Weasley's house what was it called Question number six. I 
And question seven. Who has been the First Minister of Wales since December 2018? That's a picture of the happy chap, but what's his name? So the First Minister of Wales, but what's his name? And number eight, what's a baby rabbit called? Oh, cute picture. Oh. What's a baby rabbit called? Question eight. Just for you, Kev, how many minutes are in a game of rugby? How many minutes are in a game of rugby league? If you don't know, put something down, who cares? Exactly. Right, I'll have to get my glasses on for this one. What fruit takes its scientific name as a Mangifera indica? Indica. A Mangifera indica. So what fruit takes its name from that? Number 11, to a single decimal point, how many kilometres are in a mile? To a single decimal point, so that's something point something, how many kilometres are in a mile? Question 11. Number 12, Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift at which awards show? Naughty thing. So Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift at which awards show? So what was the name of that? Sure, write it down. Thirteen, Unchained Melody was re-released by which pop duo in 1995? So what was the name of the pop duo that released Unchained Melody? 1995. Blimey. A few years ago, isn't it? Julie still had that perm then, didn't she? 14. Who was caught red-handed trying to blow up Parliament in 1605? Naughty thing. So what was the name of the person that was caught red-handed trying to blow up Parliament in 1605? And 15. Which celeb fronted the campaign for McDonald's when they first announced their own slogan, I'm loving it, in 2003? So what was the celeb's name who did the commercials? 2003. Think of a pop star, perhaps. There we go. All done. Can you believe it? So how did we find that? Wasn't too bad, was it? Nice way to slide the weekend in with quiz number one. Uh, let's do some answers, I think. <coughs> Definitely. Quiz number one answers. So which country is brie cheese originally from? And that is France. Uh, what's the capital of Iceland? Reykjavik. Uh, who painted the Mona Lisa? That's question three, it was Leonardo da Vinci. Number four, who plays Del Boy Trotter in Only Fools and Horses? That's David Jason. At number five, the fashion designer reportedly had a relationship with Winston Churchill, was Coco Chanel. Wouldn't have got that one. Uh, in Harry Potter, what's the name of the Weasley's house? It's the Burrow, or Burrow. Uh, number seven, who's been the first Minister of Wales since December 2018? Mark Drakeford. Looks a happy chap anyway, didn't he? Uh, what's the baby rabbit called? A kit, K-I-T, apparently a kit. It's question eight. Number nine, how many minutes are in the game of Rugby League? And that was 80 minutes, 8-0. And tum, num, number 10, which fruit takes its scientific name from Mangifera indica? It's a mango. Might have got that with the Mangifera bit. Uh, anyway, number 11, to the single decimal point, how many kilometres are in a mile? Who asked Alexa for that one? I bet you did, Zoe. I know what you like. Uh, 1.6 kilometres. Uh, number 12, Kanye West interrupted Taylor Swift at Witcher Music Awards show. It was the VMAs in 2009. Uh, number 13, Unchained Melody was released by which pop duo in 1995? Do you remember them too? Robson and Jerome. Oh, wow. Uh, 14, who was caught red-handed trying to blow up the parliament in 1605? Of course, that was Guy Fawkes. And number 15, the celeb that fronted the McDonald's advert with the slogan, I'm loving it, in 2003, was Justin Timberlake. I know. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? 
Gee, my daughter knew that one. OK, well done. Cool. Excellent. Let's see how you did on that round. Let's have a look at some of your scores. So let's have a look. How did we do out of 15 on that one? What do you reckon, Zoe? I reckon you got about nine. Sophie, I reckon you got about 12. Do you reckon, Julie? Four. Let's have a look. Can you describe Robson and Joan as a pop duo? <laughs> Probably not, I even know. Uh, Curtis, 11, that's a good score. Kev, but you got the Robson and Jerome one right. 10, well done, sir. Mandy from across the pond, 12. Good score, that Mandy. Uh, Zoe, 13, well done, mom. Uh, Sophie, hello, 10, that's a good score. Colin, good evening, 11. Good scores, Janice, eight. Barbara, 11. Alan, better, better next time. Eight, it's not bad. Pom, nine, not bad. Mark, still love that emoji. Ten, fabulous. We put bunny two. Oh, ah, yeah, I know. Tricky one, wasn't it, that? Uh, Shelley, ten. Stuart, nine. Julie, you've got help again this week. Ten, well done. Pete McCall, eleven. Nine, I'll take part in the first round whilst eating a sausage and mash. Well, yeah, I've got a five-star food hygiene rating. Uh, Guy, 10. Let me just move that crossway. There you go. Then we can see everybody. Uh, 10, well done, sir. Amanda, good evening. 13, lucky for some. Cheryl, 8. Not bad. Not bad at all. There were some tricky questions in there, wasn't there? It really was. So, I think we'll crack on with quiz two. Another general knowledge round. 15 brain-stomping questions. Who's coming up? Nine for Julian Fairhurst. You put bunny. OK, there we go. Well, you've learned something new. That's what we're saying. Uh, should we crack on? Quiz number two, another general knowledge, 15 questions. I think they're a little bit easier than last time. Let's go. Quiz two, shabadoo. Here we go. Who painted the persistence of memory, an image of a number of melting pocket watches? What was the name of the person who painted those pictures? Write it down. Very famous person. Question one. And number two, who is the most followed celebrity on Instagram? I'll give you a clue, it's not a film star. It's somebody with sport as much as I'm going to say. It's question two. Let's grab a drink. Genuine question, this number three. What's the study of mushrooms called? Question three. What's the study of mushrooms called? Apart from sad. And number four, what's the soft spot on a baby's head known as? So what's the soft spot on a baby's head known as? Question four. And number five, which is the most flexible muscle in the human body? So what's the most flexible muscle in the human body? Question number five. Number six for all those TOWIE fans. Come on, Kev. Come on, Tony. I know this is for you. Which Brentwood bar did the TOWIE cast frequent when their show started in 2010? What was the bar called? So which Brentwood bar did the TOWIE cast frequent when the show started in 2010? Something hut. Uh, number seven. Where in the world would you find Ban Mai? Where would you find Ban Mai? Come on, Alan. You've been every bar El Mardo, I bet you have. And had your lips inflated. Number eight. What country won the first ever FIFA World Cup in 1930? So what team or country? Because it's the same thing, isn't it? Won the very first FIFA World Cup in 1930. Oh my God, sports questions. <gasps> Another sports question. In what year was the first ever Wimbledon Championship held? A, 1940, B, 1921, 
or C, 1877? So A, B or C, Wimbledon. Put it down, A, B or C, what do you reckon? And number 10, which racer holds the records for the most Grand Prix wins? So which racer holds the record for the most Grand Prix wins? What's the name of the racer? Question number 10, rattling through this quiz this week, aren't we? Number 11, which Jamaican runner is an 11 time world champion and holds the record for the 100 and 200 meter race? What's his name? The Jamaican runner that has an 11 world championship holds the record for 100 and 200. What's the Jamaican runner's name? 12, which boxer was known as the greatest and the people's champion? So that's question 12. Thirteen, just for you, Ivan. Ooh. What is often seen as the smallest unit of a computer memory? So what's it known as? So what's often seen as the smallest unit of a computer memory? So it's called things, aren't they? Memory, size of memory. At fourteen, what does HTTP stand for? Good Lord, I have no idea. Google it, quick. Alexa, what does HTTP stand for? We'll tell you the answer as well. 15. Which email service is owned by Microsoft? Ooh. So which email service is owned by Microsoft? Question 15. Ooh. That went really quick, that did, didn't it? I felt like I missed a load of questions out. Should we do some marking and let's see how our brains have done? Uh, so question one, who painted the persistence of memory an image of a number of melting pocket watches? And of course, Amanda, it was Salvador Dali. You're absolutely right. Uh, number two, who's the most followed celebrity on Instagram? It's the footballer Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, three, what's the study of mushrooms called? What, Zoe? No, no, it's not. It's mycology, M-Y-C-O-L-O-G-Y, mycology. Never heard of that before. Uh, number four, what's the soft spot on a baby's head known as? That's the fontanelle. Uh, five, which is the most flexible muscle in the human body? It's the tongue, yes. Uh, number six, just for you, Tony, this one. The Brentwood bar where the Towie cast frequented the show and it started in 2010, that was called the Sugar Hut. We'd never have got that. At number seven, in where in the world would you find Ban Mai? And that's Vietnam. At number eight, which country won the first ever FIFA World Cup in 1930? That was Uruguay. At number nine, which year was the first ever Wimbledon Championship held? A, 1940, B, 1921, or C, 1877? I can't believe this, but it was C, 1877. That's mad, isn't it? At uh, number 10, which racer holds the record for the most Grand Prix wins? Apparently that's Michael Schumacher. Could be wrong, I don't care. Uh, number 11, which Jamaican runner has an 11-time world champion uh, holds the record for 100 and 200 metre race? That's Usain Bolt. I think it said it on his name badge on the side there. At uh, 12, the boxer known as the greatest and the people's champion was Muhammad Ali. At uh, 13, Ivan, come on, I bet you've got it right. What is often seen as the smallest unit of computer memory? And that's a kilobyte. Of course it is, yeah. Uh, what does HTTP stand for? Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Yeah. Uh, 15, which email service is owned by Microsoft? And that, of course, was Hotmail. Tot up your scores out of 15. Let's see who's the brain box. Oh, is it you? <gasps> So, Bar Armado, what do we reckon? Full house, I think. Let's see what your scores are when they start coming through. Some tricky ones in there, wasn't there? But then, oh, blimey, I'm 13. 13 is incorrect, is it? Right, what, what, tell us what it is then. 
Julie not saying. <laughs> uh, Stuart, where are you? There you go. Nine. Well done. Curtis, 10. Pete, 10. Colin, 10. Janice, 7. Okay, Kev. Uh, Zoe, 9. Ooh, well done. Mm, I think it was worse of 6. Ooh, tricky, 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 Sophie. Not to worry. Uh, Pom, 7. Guy, 8. I tell you, it was a tricky round, this one, wasn't it? Uh, if you like it, Alan, you should have put... Yeah. Obs, Devar. Yeah, absolutely. Well done. Uh, you like the NYC backdrop? No, I'm actually there, Shelley. Actually there. Barbara, 11. Crappy, 5. Barra Mardo. A bite. Oh, OK. Well, we'll go for bite then. If anybody's got bite, add, them, add another point. I was just going on the answer I'd got. But a bite sounds better than a killer bite, doesn't it? It sounds smaller. Yeah, we'll go with that one. So give yourselves another point on that for bite. At 9, June. Don't worry about that, Mark. 9. I think this is a, is a bite. Yeah, I think you're a bit. Yeah, I think you're right. Mandy, he is right. Mark is right. Absolutely. Some good scores there. Some very good scores. Ooh, if you're over twist, 15 minus 8. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Well, let's have a little two-minute break just to fill up our glasses, and then we'll come back with bringing the A game. Ooh, what's that quiz all about? Oh, still some more. Kev, six. Gillian, seven. Uh, Colin, now 11. OK, Mandy, you got 10. OK, some good scores. Let's go for a two-minute break. We can just powder our noses, and we'll be back with quiz number three. See you in two. Toodaloo. I'll tell you what, everybody's scores look better now, don't they? Double figures for a lot of people now. So it was a bite. Yeah, well done, guys. Just shows you what we can do as a team, doesn't it? Yes. Anyway, grab a quick drink and we'll be back in 1 minute 28. Not this week, guy. Maybe next week. Who knows? As soon as we get out of lockdown, there is something waiting. But we can't say any more about that. So we are back, 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 just after that little uh, break. Hope you've had a chance just to refill and refresh and get comfy again on the chair. Good. Um, bring in your A game, the next game. Ooh. So dead easy, this. Some are really, really easy. Some might not be as easy, but we'll see how we go. So every answer begins with the letter A. Dead easy. You can do 26 of these, can't we? So every answer begins with A. Should we start? Bring in your A game, quiz number three. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. So again, just have a look and tell me what you can see. So what's the name of the item that begins with A? Come on. Everybody can get this. They start off easy. There's a couple of tricky ones in there. But just tell me what you can see. The A game. up a Tony in the morning that what is it 
question number three in the A game. What is it? Walking through these, number four. What is it? Begins with an A. Aardvark. No? I don't know what that is. It's like a carrier bag from Aldi. Number five, what's that? What is it? Just write it down. You get the idea now, don't you? I'm going for a rest. See you in a couple. Come on, keep it going. Wonder what number six is going to be. Oh, yeah. What is that? Dead easy. Number seven. Oh, getting a bit trickier, are they now? What is that? Just write it down. Question number seven. Tricky one. It's gone quiet now. Zoe's gone quiet. She can't focus. Ten, that's an easy one, isn't it? It's a climbing frame. What's it called? I'm getting good, aren't I, with this? Nearly. Tricky alert. What is that? Question 11. What is that? Oh. If you squint. No, it doesn't make any difference now. Number 12. Write down what you can see through the A's. Through the A holes. <laughs> The other week for Bar El Mardo there. Lovely blonde locks, that, Tony. I'll send you the picture later on. 13, but what's it called? Don't forget, it begins with an A. Number 14. Ouch. But what are they? Number 15, what is it? Don't forget, begins with an A. I reckon there's some high scores on this round. At least everybody should be on 12s and 13s. Come on, Kev, come on, Bar Almado, come on, Janice. Let's see how we did. So, how did we get on with the A game? So, don't forget, every answer begins with A. Dead easy, isn't it? Shall we uh, do some marking? Got some really easy ones. Number one was an apple, of course. Number two was an ant. Number three was an alligator. Number four was an astronaut. Number five was an acorn. Number six, just for you, Kev, was an axe. Number seven was an anchor. Number eight was an ambulance. Number nine, everybody get that one? An accordion. Number 10, easy, abacus. Uh, number 11 was artichokes. 12 was asparagus, 13 was an alpaca, uh, 14 were almonds, or almonds, whichever way you want to pronounce it, and 15 were anchovies. Of course they were. Anyway, I'm expecting some high scores off you lot, so let's see how you did on the A game. Helen, good evening. Not to worry. Don't worry. Kathy Graham's 50th birthday. Happy birthday, sis. 
It's all right, Helen, don't worry about it. You've not missed anything tonight, don't worry. Uh, anyway, let's have a look. Stuart, 14, yes. Bar Almado, 14. Was it the anchovies that got you? Okay, four. Okay. Uh, Sophie, 14. A good score there. June. Oh, where have you gone? Everybody's coming in now. June, 13. Awesome. Curtis, 14. Oh, missed the accordion. Okay, 14. Well done, Colin, 14. All right, man, let's let you off. Julie, 10. Oh, hey, good score, that Julie. Have a brandy. Uh, Janice, 12. Uh, Alan, 14. Some good scores coming through here. Pete, 14. 13 for Pom. Uh, 14, couldn't get the accordion. Okay, okay, good. Guy, shabba dabba do. 15, well done. Uh, number nine got you. The accordion, yeah, I think it did for everybody, didn't it? 12, Zoe, good scores. Getting better, Dad. 10, well done. Uh, I was squinting like mad. <laughs> good. 10's a good score. Shelley, 14. The accordion was an... Oh, okay, right. Well, there we go. Cheryl, 13. Gillian, 14. Well done. So, some really good score. Oh, come on. There you go, Gillian. Off you pop. Did you not go any... Oh, Mark's just come up 14. Okay, thanks, Mark. Uh, cool. Some really good scores there, but it was quite an easy game. I thought that one just, you know... Pop that one in for you there. Who else is going? June Star, that was the first one. <laughs> no problem, June. Excellent. Listen, let's go for a quick break. Fill up our glasses. We will see you in a couple of minutes, ready for round four, which is a general knowledge round. And then five. Oh, another feature round. What's it going to be? <gasps> up your flagpole. Wonder what that could be. Anyway, let's go for a break. See you in a couple. Shabba.
<sighs> Are we all refreshed? Good, good, good. Yes, guy, I could stick my xylophone up the flagpole. Absolutely. Um, shall we crack on? Quiz number four. I have it here. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, bit tricky, this one. Oh. Should we give it a go anyway? It's a general knowledge round. 15 questions. I'll give you a clue. There's 15 answers. Quiz four. Shabadoo. Let's do it. Okay, question number one. Safari, Firefox and Explorer are all different types of what? Ooh. Question two. Who was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize in 1903? What was her name? It's question number two easy all these questions at number three what's the chemical symbol for potassium what's the symbol for potassium I'll give you a clue it's just one letter does that help and it's not in the word potassium <laughs> there you go question three and question number four what is meteorology the study of so what would you study if you studied meteorology? Question four. Question five, one for the ladies. What animal are pearls found in? So that pearl necklace comes from what animal? Write it down, question five. I know you like a good pearl necklace, Tony. Suit you that one, wouldn't it? But where's it from? And number six, what animal can be seen on the Porsche logo? So what animal can be seen on the Porsche logo? Never knew this one. Question six, mm, what do you think? Which company owns Bugatti, Lamborghini, Audi, Porsche and Ducati. <laughs> What's going on here? Ducati. Yeah, Ducati, yeah. So Bugatti, Lamborghini, Audi, Porsche and Ducati. Blimey. Number eight. What does BMW stand for in English? Never knew this one. But what does BMW stand for? Question eight. Question number nine. How many parts, screws and bolts included, does the average car have? Is it A, 30,000, B, 120,000, or C, 9,000? So how many parts, including screws and bolts, does the average car have A, B, or C? 30,000, 120, or 9,000? Number 10, what is the common name for dried plums? Oof, so what's the common name for dried plums? Question 11. What other name does corn go by? So what other name would we use for corn? I think. Mm, tricky one, I think, this. But if you've got it, it's dead easy, isn't it? So question 11. What's the other name for corn? Number 12. What's the primary ingredient in hummus? So what's the primary ingredient in hummus? Question 12. Question 13. Which country produces the most coffee in the world? So which country produces the most coffee in the world? And that's the coffee beans, not like Starbucks coffee that tastes rancid. Uh, so which country produces the most coffee in the world? Question 13. Question 14. Which country invented tea? So which country invented tea? Question 14. Jolly green giant, Amanda. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so that's 14. Here comes 15. Which European nation 
was said to invent hot dogs? So which European nation was said to invent hot dogs? Question 15, last one. That was quick. So, 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 how did we get on there? The last general knowledge quiz of the night. Uh, shall we mark it? And let's see how abysmally we did. Uh, question one, Safari, Firefox and Explorer are all different types of what? And they are web browsers. And uh, number two, who was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize in 1903? That was Marie Curie. Three, the symbol for potassium is K, kilo K. Uh, and number four, what is meteorology the study of? And that is the weather. The weather. Five, the lady's pearl necklace. What animals are pearls found in? They're oysters. Oh, of course they are, yeah. And number six, which animal is seen on the Porsche logo? Never knew this one. It's a horse. But now you can think of it. You can picture it, can't you? Uh, seven, which company owns Bugatti, Lamborghini, Audi, Porsche and Ducati? Uh, that's Volkswagen. That's number seven. Number eight, what does BMW stand for? I never knew it, but I knew it stood for something, but there we go. Uh, Brevarian Motor Works. So Brevarian Motor Works is BMW. Uh, number nine, how many parts, screws and bolts included, does the average car have? Is it A, 30,000, B, 120,000, or C, 9,000? It is A, 30,000. Number 10, what's the common name for dried plums? Prunes. That's prunes. Prunes, 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 prunes. At number 11, what does the other name of corn go by? Tricky one, I thought that. That was maize. So you call corn maize, yeah, yeah. Uh, 12, primary ingredient of hummus. That's a chickpea. Uh, number 13, which country produces the most coffee in the world? That's Brazil. Uh, 14, easy one, which country invented tea? Tea in China. And 15, which European nation was said to invent hot dogs? And that was Germany. So, tot up your score. Let's see how you did on the general knowledge quiz. Oh, where are your plums? So, how did we all get on with that one? Some tricky ones in there, wasn't there? And some not too tricky, I think. But, mate, I wouldn't have got the BMW one the port well actually probably about nine out of them uh, Sophie 13 well done Mandy 12 good scores coming here Zoe 11 well done uh, Karen 14 fantastic well done amazing score uh, Mr Bedford 13 well done Pete 13 oh Julie if your friend's gone to the toilet eight <gasps> Fiona hello 10 good score Colin 14 for Colin Ooh, have you gone? There we are. Well done. That's a good score, Colin. Amazing. Pom, 11. June, tell you what, solid scores tonight, June. 14, well done. Linny's on fire. Well, put her out. Put her out, man. It's foolish. Uh, 14, well done, Amanda Louise. Which one did you get wrong there? Stuart, round of applause with my little... 15, well done, sir. Brilliant. Uh, Janice, 14. Shelley, 10 again. Doesn't matter, double figures. It's good. Uh, Barbara, 12. Uh, Curtis, 13. That's a good score. Cheryl, 13. A good score. Dad, well done. Good eight. It is a good eight, indeed. Keep your regular prunes. Absolutely. It does, doesn't it? Well done, guy. So, are we ready for the final quiz? Yes. Well done. Right. Up your flagpole. This is going to be a very easy quiz or a very tricky quiz, depending on how well you know flags of the world. Oh no, oh no, why is he doing this? So you're gonna see some flags of the world and I just want you to tell me the country that they come from. They're not too bad, I'll try and give you a clue. No, I won't. Uh, let's do it, final quiz, up your flagpole, here we go. There we go, question number one. Where's my flag from? So what country is that? Dead easy, isn't it? Dead easy. 
Here comes number two. Where's that flag from? Where in the world? PC world. No, where in the world is flag number two? Just write it down. See it a lot on football, I think. Number three, there we go. It's one we all love and know, isn't it? Write it down. Number four coming up. Come on, here it comes. So where's my flag from? Which flag is that? Question number four. Another easy one. Number five, where's that flag from? Just write down the country that it's from. Tricky one's coming up now. So where's the flag from? Question number six. What country is that flag? Or what flag? What country has that flag, should it be? It's question number six, write it down. Number seven, where's that one? question what three colours were the flag of such a place I think we had white and green and you had to guess the last colour do you remember it come on number 10 tricky one that if you don't know it but the hieroglyphs give it away a bit think of a, a place just write it down had that question the other week as an eagle on the flag do you remember what country it was mandy thompson you've been there quite a few times in your flying career does that give it a clue number 12 where's that one is this good or is it difficult i think this one's quite easy Again, name the country, a white flag with a red spot on it. Where's that from? That's question 13, we're nearly there, we're nearly done. Blimey, two more to go. Where can we go from here? Question number 14, where's the flag from? Number 14, one more to go. And the last one, up your flagpole. What country's flag is that? Up my flagpole. Question 15. So there we go, up your flagpole. How was that? It wasn't too bad, was it? Just before we do the answers, got something serious to say for next week. Uh, you might have seen on the website we're supporting Macmillan Cancer uh, Support. Um, so we've popped a link on the website uh, for you to donate money to the Macmillan Fund. That would be amazing. I'll ping the link out again so it's at the top of the, uh, the page. But even if it's just a pound, honestly, it will make a massive, massive difference. Because uh, a lot of places can't do the... Uh, the cake and the coffee mornings this year because obviously of social distancing so we thought we would do the quiz this year uh, and we'll put all the proceeds and throw all the money across the Macmillan so please 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 if it's a pound or whatever even if it's 50p it just doesn't matter it all helps it'll be amazing I've had some donations already and thank you to everybody who has donated so far uh, it's really been amazing, amazing, amazing so next week obviously the 11th will be the Macmillan Cancer uh, quiz uh, and all the proceeds that you make go directly to Macmillan Cancer. Fabulous. Should we crack on with Up Your Flagpole, number five? 
Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, anyway, how did we do? So, question one, Canada. Dead easy with the maple leaf. Number two was Brazil. Number three was Germany. Four, Scotland. Five, Spain. Six, Israel. Getting trickier. Seven was Romania. Eight was Ukraine. Tricky ones there. Nine, do you remember with the orange, was India. Sorry, no scores, Brian, I missed the start. Oh, don't worry, Kathy, that's fine. Uh, so nine was India, 10 was Iran, 11 was the Eagle, Mexico. Do you remember that question? 12, I'd never get that one, it's Russia. It just looks different than what I imagine. 13 with the, uh, the red sun, wasn't it? Japan. 14 was China. And the last one, 15, was Norway. Of course it was. So tot up your scores, throw them all to uh, the end score, which is out of 75. And let's see who's the brain box of the Bellwood quiz this week. <gasps> Is it you? Kathy, don't worry about it. As long as you're here, just have a fun. Sit down, have a drink. It doesn't matter. Let's see how everybody did. Sophie, you got 12. Ooh, well done, Sophie. So we got 10, uh, Karen 10. It's tricky, aren't they, these flags? Uh, Janice 9, Mr. Bedford 15. Oh, you are such a cat. Oh, well done, sir. 59 out of 75, awesome. Mark 11, smashed it, Kev, absolutely eight. Well done, Mandy 10, uh, Cheryl 10, 15, guys. Shabba, well done, sir, well done. That's a really, really good score, guy, well done. Uh, with Mark's health, 13 out of 15. It's still well done. Uh, 57 out of 75, Colin, for your final score. Well done, sir. Thank you. 14, Chris Mainland said, don't worry, Barbara, it's fine. Don't worry about it. As long as you get them right, who cares? Uh, Stuart, 10, that's a good score. Uh, and you got 57 out of 75. Well done. Dad, 36. Is that your highest score? Well done. Uh, wow, Curtis, 63 out of 75. With a full house on the flag round. Well done. At 14, well done, Shelley. Uh, one day I'll get into the 60s. Absolutely, 58, still a good score. At 24, don't worry, Karen, still a good score. 24 out of 30, that's fabulous, well done. 54x, oh, well done, Zoe. Uh, 56 out of 75, good score, Sophie. 51, Janice. 59, well done, June, good score. 58, so everybody's teetering around the 58, 59s, aren't they? Nine, Pom, not to worry. Good score, Gillian. 15, but your son is a flag expert. Well done. Good, you need him. Might need him next week. Uh, 12 for Pete. Well done. 60 out of 75. That is the highest score so far, Pete. Well done. Uh, let's see. Barbara, oh, you've just been pipped, Pete. 63, Barbara. That's a really good score. Well done, guys. 62. Fantastic. And no cheating. Well done. Alexa must be turned off. Uh, you're welcome, Shelley. Uh, Max said to be the highlight of the week. Good. It is indeed. Absolutely. You're welcome, Sophie. I will see you hopefully next week. Pom 44, shite. Just have another beer, Pom bugger. It doesn't matter, it's Friday. Uh, Janice, you're welcome. Zoe, thank you. Awesome. So thank you very much, everybody. Some good scores there this week, didn't we? Did really well. So we will see you next week live from seven o'clock, hopefully from Bellwood Towers if we're in lockdown. If we're not, could be from anywhere, couldn't it? Who knows? But please stay safe. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, I'll pop a link uh, about um, popping some money for the Macmillan Cancer. That would be amazing if you could. And until then, see you next week. Shabadoo. Bye. I'm learning. I'm getting better now. I'll have that nailed guy for next week. Listen, everybody, take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. And we will see you next week, next Friday, live, 7 o'clock. Don't forget to invite loads of your friends next week because the more people that we have on the quiz, the better it will be. Absolutely. All right, take care. See you next week. Shabba.